Hello everyone. Hope you are doing good. Today we have one more problem from previous year's question paper. This question was asked in 2019 for 13 marks. A cylinder, base diameter 50 mm and height 50 mm with its axis perpendicular to HP is placed centrally on the top rectangular face of a horizontal triangular press, side of triangle 40 mm and length of the axis 70 mm. The prism is resting on its long edge with its axis parallel to both HP and VP. Draw the isometric projection of the combination of solids. Show the axis of each solid and indicate the direction of viewing. Here, the first solid is a triangular prism and the triangular prism is resting on long edge. Long edge means it is resting on one of its generator on HP like this. And the second solid, second solid means cylinder is placed centrally on the top rectangular face. Top rectangular face means on top for press, on top it has a rectangular face. So the prism is resting like this, in this position. Generator is contained by, generator is lying on HP, on ground and on top it has a rectangular face. And the cylinder is placed centrally on the top rectangular face. So here centrally we have to place that cylinder. Centrally means center of the cylinder, center of the circular base of the cylinder will coincide with the center of this face. And for press, the axis, axis is parallel to both HP and VP. So this is the final position. In this position, axis of the press, axis of the triangular press is parallel to VP and HP. Solid or prism is resting on its generator. On top, rectangular face is horizontal or parallel to HP. And on this rectangular face, on this top face, cylinder is resting centrally. And the axis of cylinder is vertical. Vertical means perpendicular to HP. So for construction work, we'll start from first solid. We'll draw first solid. Starting from its triangular base, we will project its triangular base along second and vertical isometric axis. Then we will generate its second base and then on the upper face, we will project circular base of the cylinder and then we will complete projection of cylinder. Now for triangular base, we have to project its base, triangular base and for projecting triangular base, First, we have to draw helping figure, helping figure of its triangular base. So, drawing a regular triangle of size ISO 40, ISO 40, and then we have to enclose this triangle inside a rectangle or inside a box by drawing lines parallel to and perpendicular to first base side. So drawing lines parallel to and perpendicular to first base side from all three corners of the triangle. These are dimensions Y And size size of the triangle size is 40. Next we have to mark center point. So for finding center point, bisect first side and draw a line through its midpoint towards opposite corner. Repeat this process for second side. Common intersection point is the center, center of triangle. Size 40 by and 
point H. Now from center, we have to draw center lines parallel to and perpendicular to first base side. Okay. Now we have to project this helping figure here along second and vertical isometric axis. So we have to take 40, 40 along second isometric axis and y, y along vertical isometric axis. 40 along second isometric axis and y, y along vertical axis. So drawing lines. from two ends of the base and then from these two points vertical line of length y dash and then from all four corners we have to draw lines parallel to first isometric axis and the length, length will be ISO of 70. So we have to take ISO 70. So my lines parallel to first ISO axis from all four corners and the length is equal to ISO 70. Line from second line, second point, then line from third point. And last from fourth point or fourth corner. Okay, now we have all four corners of the real base. Next step, we have to mark all six corners of the breast. This is first corner, second corner. And this is third corner. Third corner means corner on the bottom is. And here these two corners are A and B. And third corner for third corner, this is the distance. This is my third corner for front base and for rear base. These are two upper corners A and B. And for third corner. We have to take this distance. Now joining all corners, we will get projection or we will get the press. This press is resting on its generator on the ground. Axis is parallel to both HP and VP and on top it has a horizontal face. Horizontal means that face is parallel to HP. Next, we have to locate center. Center of front and rear base. So for locating center, this is the distance from upper edge these are points and the excess or center line will pass through C. C2 midpoint. C2 midpoint. Now we have to draw vertical lines through these points. So these are centers, centers of front end, rear base, and from first center to second center. This is solid axis, solid axis for the prism. The second solid cylinder, 
cylinder of base diameter 50 mm and height 50 mm is placed centrally on the top rectangular face. It means on the top rectangular face we have to project the cylinder and centrally. Centrally means center of the cylinder, center of the bottom base of the cylinder will coincide with the center of this rectangular face. So we have to mark the center point of this face. So by setting all four sides, all four sides of the face of face. Will you get the center? This point is the center, center of top rectangular face, and the same point is the center of bottom circular base of the cylinder. So from that point, we have to start projection work, construction work of bottom base first, and then we'll complete projections of the cylinder. And we know that for projecting a cylinder or for projecting circular base of cylinder, we have to draw helping figure and the size of helping figure is always equals to the diameter of that circular base here diameter is 50 so we have to mark limits of half of 50 half of 50 means 25 on center lines so marking limits of iso 25 iso 25 here and then Drawing lines parallel to first and second iso axis or parallel to center lines from these points we'll get the base or we'll get the helping square. Now this is the helping square. Next step, we have to mark all four midpoints. These are midpoints, and then we have to join opposite corners, diagonally opposite corners, larger or longer one. Next step, midpoint to opposite corner. Midpoint to opposite corner. Midpoint to opposite corner. Now we have all four centers, centers of rotation. From first center, this is the distance or this is the radius. First part. Second center, this is second radius. Third center third radius and fourth center, fourth radius. So this is a circular base of the cylinder. Now from all corners of the helping square, drawing vertical lines, lying parallel to third or vertical axis. From all corners of the helping square and the length, length is equal to iso 40. Length is equal to iso 40 and we have to join all four corners. This is the helping figure or helping square of upper base. Now again we have to repeat the process. So by setting all four sides of upper base, then larger or longer diagonal. Next step, opposite corner to midpoint or midpoint to opposite corner. Now we have all four centers. From first center, this is first radius. First part, second center, this is second radius. Third center, third radius. Fourth center and fourth radius. Now we have to show all visible sides and edges of these two sides. So upper circular base of the cylinder is fully visible or complete. Divisible. 
then generators so from extreme point on the diagonal to the extreme point on the diagonal generators are fully visible then front portion of lower base is visible and then we have to show all visible generators in sides of triangular phrase so these are visible sides and generators of the triangular phrase next we have to show center lines for cylinder for top base and for bottom base and from the top base to bottom base solid axis this is solid axis for the cylinder and in this problem cylinder axis or axis of the cylinder and axis of the prism these two axes are intersecting axis last dimensioning for dimensioning and height of cylinder height of axial length of cylinder then side of the press side of the press and axis of the press axis or length of the press Side forty, dia of cylinder fifty, height of cylinder again fifty, and length length of the phrase length is seventy. And last direction of viewing or direction of observation in this problem. This is the direction of observation and then please write naming or labeling for these two figures in single stroke letter writing So this is all from my side. Please draw this problem in your sheet. Indicate direction of observation, direction of viewing, do all dimensioning, write names or headings of these two figures. And if you have any problem, any doubt in this problem or in any topic of engineering graphics, please write your comments in the comment section. Thank you.